Once you guys got another video here for you on how to install Windows updates from PowerShell. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. So if we go to the Windows update panel, you'll see that I have Windows updates paused on this system. But that doesn't stop me from rolling out updates via PowerShell, even though I have it paused inside the actual Windows update panel. And I'll show you how to do all of that in this video. You can also send a lot of these updates across multiple computers over the network via the PowerShell if you create a script. So click start settings and then system and then for developers and turn on developer mode. You'll get a little warning here, but we need to turn this on. So you need to say yes to enable developer mode because we need to use the PowerShell script to be able to do what we're doing here. So turn on PowerShell right here as well to change execution policies to allow local PowerShell scripts to run without signing, remote signing for uh, running scripts as well. Also, we're going to right click on the start button and go to terminal with admin, and this will open up a terminal window for us. We're going to paste this first command in here. This is going to set Windows PowerShell execution policy, and we're going to allow this to do remote signed forced. And you can see here next, we're going to install the PowerShell get module, and you can do that with this command right here. I'll leave all these in the video description for you. And next, you will see this populate on the screen. You can read all of that information, but you need to say wifey yes here to enable uh, that feature. So we're going to allow this to go ahead and do what we need to do here. So push wifey yes and push enter. And you'll see a little blue bar popping up on the screen from time to time. That's the PowerShell working in the background. That's what it needs to do. And you can see it's downloading all of the packages and installing them. Next, we're going to be installing the windows update module so let's go ahead and put in this command here this is to install powershell's windows update module and we are going to be putting that command in and pushing enter now some of these will take a little bit of time i have sort of speeded this process up but it does take a bit of time for it to download and install on the system but once it's done we can move on to the next stage so let's go ahead and move on to the next stage and that is to have a look at all of the commands. So we can check the PowerShell uh, Windows update commands by typing in this command here and push enter. And this will give us a list of commands that we can use. These are all the commands that you can use in PowerShell, which are to do with your Windows update. You can see here, get Windows update history, uh, get Windows update job. You can also clear Windows update jobs download Windows updates, get Windows update install, and so on. There's a load of them here, and you can even show Windows updates and hide Windows updates from here as well, which is very useful if you want to stop a Windows update from being installed. You can use the hide Windows update right from here inside PowerShell. There's loads of other ones inside here. You can pause the screen and read them at your own leisure, but basically they are the commands that you can use. So let's move on to how we can install our Windows updates. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get the Windows updates that are available to us. And you can do that by typing in the get dash Windows update. And this will find all the Windows updates for this system that are available. Yours might have a different list of mine because obviously everyone has different updates at different time. And you might be watching this video a year from now, but it will still work uh, in a year's time and you would have different updates coming up in your list. So you can see here, we've got a few Windows updates here that we can run. And now we can install Windows updates on the local system by typing in the next command, which will install all of these in one go. But I'm going to give you the free options uh, so you can see what the free options are when installing Windows updates. The first one is get Windows update install. And basically, this is going to find Windows updates on the local system and install them with a reboot. And you can just put that command in right there. Next, we're going to do another command. So let me just quickly take that one out and I'll show you the next one, which will find Windows updates on the system and install them without a reboot. And then when it finishes, it will just uh, leave the window open and you can close the window and you will not be able to reboot because you're putting ignore reboot. 
And then there's one more you can do, which is basically find available Windows updates on the system and install them with a reboot that's needed. So let's go ahead and do that here. And I'll put this command up here. And this will accept all as well and install them. And this is how we can go about installing all the Windows updates on this local system. Now, there is ones that you can do on a remote system, but that's for another video. You can put in a, a command for that and basically have a script and it will run that script and install all the updates on all of those PCs that you have in that script. So you can see this is starting to install all of these updates right now and they're working away here. Now, this is great if the Windows updates don't work on that system. For some reason, it's broken or maybe uh, you've uh, paused them and you just want to install a couple of updates via this method, you can do. Once it's done, it's going to restart your system. And once we get back to the desktop, all of those updates would have been downloaded and installed on that computer. It's that simple. And that's how you can use PowerShell to install all your Windows updates. Now, I know a lot of people are probably not going to use this, but it's just a really good way of learning about how you can use PowerShell and how you can use it because it is a powerful tool and you can use this uh, across multiple computers as well to install all your updates. Now you can see all the Windows updates were still paused on this system, but yet we still went round the back and installed them via PowerShell, which means even if you pause them, you can still install them uh, via PowerShell, even if you've uh, got a broken Windows update or you've got them paused. It's that simple. So let me quickly show you uh, also this right here. So I'm going to go back into the terminal here with administrator and we're going to see if there's any more updates available by typing get space windows update and you can push enter and this will get you the list. There's probably going to be another update here. There it is right there and we can go ahead and install that. But let me show you this big command right here. Again, this will do the same thing. Get the Microsoft update, accept all, auto reboot and then you're telling it to put an out file to that location, which is your C root directory, and it's going to be called msupdates.log, and you're going to force that by putting the dash force on there. It will put the date, time, and everything else. Now you can see the network is working, so it is working in the background. You won't get any sort of indication that it's working. You might see this blue bar coming up here, but it is working in the background, and you can see that by your network graph there, and it's now installing that uh, update on our computer. And it's that simple. So once that's done, we can take a look at the log file and you can call the log file whatever you like. But basically all you need to do now is go to our C root directory where that log file would have been stored and it will be a text file. And you can open that text file up with notepad. So let me go ahead and close that off there. I'm gonna open up Explorer and go to this PC and go to our C drive and there it is our actual file. So let's double click and open this up. And you can see it tells us all of what's just happened on our system. It's basically accepted that update, downloaded the update and then installed the update. Now, this is quite a basic video, but there's quite a lot of stuff that you can do much more in depth stuff with PowerShell uh, and with Windows updates. And you can get all this information on Microsoft's website. They document everything. You can have a good long read up over here and basically it will give you all of the commands and all of the stuff you can do via uh, PowerShell with Windows updates and stuff like that. It's quite in depth and Microsoft has a catalog of really good tutorials on how to use their actual uh, operating system. And you can see here it tells you everything about the Windows update log and so on. And you can go ahead and use this information and learn. And that's it. I'll try and leave a link for that in the video description if I remember. If not, let me know in the comments section and I'll uh, add that to the description. But it's pretty easy to find. You just have to uh, do a little search on Google. And you can see here Windows Update Services, all your commands and other stuff here. There's some really useful stuff on, on their website and a lot of people don't even bother searching. But there is some really good stuff on there. Anyway, that is going to be about it. That is basically how you can install uh, Windows updates with PowerShell on Windows 11. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then give it a comment and also give it a thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.